Back in this code listing again, I have placed three additional procedures to illustrate while do and for looping. A method here called call while, another one called call do, and then further down, call for. You'll notice that each of these is being called in turn, passing in the value of x as an argument for call while and do, call for accepts no argument. Let's take a look at the call while procedure. So this argument, arg, is being passed into call while, and we have a while statement that's basically evaluating the value of that argument. While arg is less than 10, this process will loop. So we're going to do a console.write line and print out the value of arg, followed by an arg++, do an incrementation. So this will continue to loop until this expression, arg is less than 10, no longer evaluates the true. In the call do statement, similar sort of process, except, of course, with a do statement, you evaluate the condition at the end of the block. So once again, we're taking the argument, we're printing it out to the console, we increment the argument, and then evaluate the condition, while arg is less than 10. If arg is less than 10, it will go back up to the do and repeat the process again. Otherwise, it will simply skip below the end bracket and continue. In the for example, we're creating a counter variable called i, an integer i equals 1, and then our condition again is i is less than 10. Then we'll do our incrementation i++ with the console.write line. Please note that unlike the two previous examples where we had to do an incrementation in the body of the method, we don't do that with the for because the for handles its own incrementation. Let's take a look and see the results of each of these calls. Well, if we execute the first block, we have our series of results, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., down to 9. That's our while loop. Once again, with our do loop, 1 through 9, and again with our for loop, 1 through 9. So basically what we've done is created three different ways of accomplishing exactly the same task by using three different approaches to iterative processing. 